who can start? Okay, so our project, uh, we named it the Ross Safe Brigade. Um, I'm Jacob. I'm Pat. I'm Peter. Um, so, just a little overview, so we're just going to go over the inspiration, um, target market, unique features, play value, and then the different prototyping. So for the inspiration, as you guys all know, Peru's been around for 150 years. It's very well advertised on campus. Um, and then last year, Purdue football had a big win over Ohio State, who seeded number two. Um, pretty cool win. I don't know if you guys were at the game, but um, I rushed the field. Um, a lot of students rushed the field. Um, so that was kind of inspiring. And then just having the world's largest run was pretty cool. So we kind of highlight that in our toy, um, which you'll see. And we're back to a losing record this year, so it's good advertising for Purdue football. Um, so no. Next, so target market, obviously any football fan of Purdue, um, anyone in the marching band, um, alumni, students, and just future boilermakers, or even football aficionados. Um, and then, so just overview of unique features. Um, so. We try to do as realistic of a representation of the stadium as we could with time permitted because those 3D printed parts take a long time. Um, and then the drumsticks that we have um, on the drum automatically play the drum with a servo motor inside. Um, and it's not an interactive toy, it's more of um, an artifact, I guess you could say. Um, something to just have um, that you switch on and it just kind of goes on and stays on. And yeah, so world's largest drum seat is even larger. Um, it's just as high as the stadium seating, so um, we want to highlight that in our in our toy. Okay, so um, the play value of our toy is that it allows um, alumni and future boilermakers to hold a piece of Purdue with them when they're not on campus. Um, so it will always be it can always be a part of your home or uh, a part of your work area, I guess. Um, it brings sentimental value to any person who has a special place uh, in their heart for Purdue because uh, it can bring back memories of times that they've had here or experiences that they shared with their friends. Um, which kind of goes on to the next one, that it provides an environment where memories and experiences, um, memories of experiences at Purdue can be brought to the forefront of the, uh, of the player's mind. Um, and then finally, it celebrates the athletic accomplishments of Purdue University, going back to the uh, victory that we had over Ohio State last year, um, as well as uh, the incredible renovations that have been made to Ross State Stadium um, within a relatively recent time frame. And so some key features of our CAD model are um, kind of in the, de in the details of the stadium itself. So you can see that uh, we have Ross State Stadium written on the uh, sort of structure um, towards the one end of the field. We have the Purdue, uh, you know, cursive writing written on the drum. The drum itself is extremely large. Um, again, highlighting the fact that Purdue has the world's largest drum. And then, of course, the movement of the drumsticks and the drum itself um, are probably the most key feature in the model itself. Yeah, so the drums is going to be able to kind of oscillate back and forth down the field uh, while the drummer is playing the drum. With a belt? Yeah, and he's using a servo motor and a belt. And then here you can see the drumsticks are moving back and forth, and those are just going to be run off of another servo motor. It's actually inside the drum, and then we're just going to have a little connecting rod that's going to come out and pull the drumsticks each way. Yeah, so uh, continuing on, we have the two mechanisms, um, one to move the drum and then one to move the drumsticks. The drum is going to be run off of the servo motor of the belt underneath and there's a linear rod at the bottom and it will drag the, uh, the base of that back and forth with the drum just attached on top and as that's running we'll have the wire going back and forth 
shaking the motor um, that is actually inside of the drum, and so that will then continuously run and move the drum sticks back. Uh, so for our prototyping, we kind of started out with some like hand drawings and how we thought like the actual stadium should look, and also with the drum, and then how we would kind of use the mechanisms to run the drumsticks. And then we started out doing like basic CAD models and making kind of assemblies and the bigger assemblies. Uh, some of the assemblies include like the drum with a person and the servo motor inside, and then kind of adding in the stadium and like all of our base parts as well. Um, and so kind of focusing on like the materials we use, we try to be able to like easily 3D print everything even if it took a while, or uh, purchase like simple parts um, for electronics or just basic plywood and two by fours. Um, and then kind of thinking about like doing it for manufacturing, uh, again, we made all of our parts so they could be easily purchased or just 3D printed, and then they were all just made separately and could be glued on together or screwed together. Um, and then for the assembly, we actually had the drum is connected with magnets on the inside, so it could be easily taken apart, and so we can access the motor, make any adjustments we need, so we can uh, just connect it back together without having to actually cut open any glue or like break any plastic on the drum. So we uh, don't have our belt yet for the drum, but here we have the drumstick moving. Currently it's just using a paper clip to move the, the actual drumstick back and forth. We're uh, looking for another like material to use that will be easier to kind of bend and get the drumstick to actually build through further. Yeah, so we originally had a 3D printed part that was originally attached to the motor and then attached to the um, drumstick, but it was not um, physically appealing, obviously it's a toy, and it also was too rigid. Um, it was moving a servo motor, so we tried using paper clip, which also was too rigid because um, it moves a servo motor inside instead of pushing the uh, drum sink. So we're looking at other materials right now, but that should be a problem. Everything will be. We just wanted to figure out the electronics for 